Hi Libras, welcome to your reading for the month of May. So thank you so much for being this patient on you guys' reading. I wanted to get this out sooner, but I was recovering and um, I just had to put my health on number one and surrender to whenever I felt good enough to do the readings. Spiritually, I'm totally fine. So I've got a lot of messages coming through for you guys, but I hope that um, I can actually finish recording this so yes <laughs> north node and cancer we gotta go with that flow okay we gotta put our bodies and our health on number one that's for everybody not just because i'm a cancer <laughs> uh libras i feel for some of you you're actually gonna have your daughter or your son coming to you this month i'm um, talking about they're pregnant they're expecting or um, they're deciding to adopt or something like that. They actually are speaking about, you know, a pregnancy or something like that. They're coming towards you. Not for all of you, but there are some of my Libras that are really going to have like that type of news, which if that's a good thing, you know, it's a good right timing. Then congratulations with that one. Uh, and it could be for some of you that you're actually expecting. Um, but I don't think that you're gonna find it out in this month. It might ever happen in this month. So if you don't wanna get pregnant, <laughs> be careful, okay? Of course, energy is fluid, so it could be this month, but I don't feel that strongly, okay? Um, I feel that for the month, end of April, because normally I do the readings at the end of the other month, so I, I had this energy coming through for you guys. I felt you guys uh, were sort of pushed to make quick decisions you know it's like it's coming up today are you you know you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it you know make a decision right now libra and libra you don't feel comfortable with that because you kind of want to go over the do's and the don'ts and the pros and the cons and that's that makes you feel secure you know and that's your natural instinct to not just you know jump in depends on what the rest of your chart looks like but the you know the libra in you kind of wants to make sure that if there are risks, then you know what they are, right? Which is good. It's totally, it's totally good. Um, I feel that in the beginning of May, so the end of April, beginning of May, right now, you are uh, being asked to like make those type of quick decisions. Take your time with it. I know that in some moments it's not possible, but it's it's better to. Um, Take your time to feel sorry afterwards, right? So they, they came through with that one strongly. Let's see what's gonna what the tarot has for you for the month of May. Yep. Something has let me see. Okay, yeah. Something has um, occupied your mind. This could be a person that's coming in, uh, coming back, has come back to you. And um, it's like, can we try again, Libra? Like something like that, right? But it got you, it really got, got you in your overthinking. <clears throat> Sorry. It really got you in your overthinking mode. You know, it's like, I got these fears, I got these things. What about this? What about that? What if this happened? What if that happened? And yet you're really ready to also overcome that overthinking. Like this month will represent about um, reconnecting with, a, with an old part of yourself first. Maybe you guys have been dealing with a longer period of time where you weren't able to work you know maybe dealing with anxiety depression uh and feelings and emotions like that they were really intense and i feel this month you were starting to come into alignment with an old part of yourself which is very beautiful i feel like you're starting to have more confidence this month you're starting to um know what you want know where you want to go and are not like you made the decision is what i'm hearing like it's almost like oh i got all these options i got all these things but what if this that you know what if it doesn't work what if it does work you know and then it's like no 
every time I think about it, every time I go over it, every time I make a, a you know pros and cons list, there's just this one thing that keeps calling me. You know, you know what? I might as well try. It's what I'm hearing. Might as well try, and you should try. If you feel it, Li uh, Libra. If you feel it, go follow it. You know that this this is a very strong period in time, especially with the way the planets are standing. They're asking you to be bold and brave and go whatever feels good to you. Not what anybody is pressuring you into because you now have to make a decision. Now you have to act on it. It's about you just feeling the strong urge, you know, and nothing in your surroundings is really telling you like you got to change, you got to change this. But it's like I, I feel I should. And I know it's more convenient to stay in this or to, to go like that. But I don't feel that's right for me right now. So it might be you picking up an old hobby or, or an old um, something from the past you used to really feel in alignment with and you kind of lost touch with that because you start, you know, you, um, you start suffering from depression or anxiety and it just throws you off so far away from, from that thing that used to get you going, you know. And um, I really feel that you're starting to reclaim your self-confidence and I think it's beautiful Libra beautiful then others of you are dealing with a fire sign from the past that you are reconciling with or reconnecting with and some of you are starting to really get back into a balanced relationship like if you are dealing with somebody you guys are coming back you know, the feminine and the masculine energy, um, whether you're a man or a woman or, you know, a same-sex relationship. It's about the one embodies the feminine and the one other embodies the, the masculine, but both from the same source, both from this energy, right? And it, it brings in a beautiful union between the two of you. It's reconciling, um, it's just reconnecting on the deepest level. That's really beautiful for you guys so if you're dealing if you have been dealing with the last couple of months you don't feel disconnected from the person i really feel that this this is coming together so beautifully again okay and for others of you it could be um could be a reconnection with a part of you that faith like you start to believe in yourself again i feel that so strongly and i want that for you libras because the more confident you feel the more capable you feel the less this happens to you the less you know another part of your of your air nature that can do this to you you know it keeps you going look at all these beautiful colors you know we got out here the movement it's it's so soulful right it's a soul's pad and you're overcoming something you were really scared because you just were, you just were scared you were going to make the wrong decision about something but now making it and going for it really helps you work through some of those fears in the most beautiful way it really is yeah you see this 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 energy you know of like t feeling like you you carry the whole world on your shoulders and when you're dealing with depression anxiety or anything in that direction or you're you know um dealing with you know loss or anything like that it can feel like you just have to carry it around everywhere you always have to wear another mask you know to fit in when you feel so not um part of something you feel so outside of your own body and you're 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 putting down this weight but you did it though can i just say that libra like you did it whether it, whether you connect with that part or not what i was just talking about you have been carrying so much you have been some of you have put in 18 or 20 years of your life and being, you know, the best mother or father that you could be and, and, you know, now your kid is going off to college and you did it, though. All those nights, all those bats, all those, 
you know, cake baking and, and, and parties and, you know, school things. You did it though. You know? And you came up this hill and you carried it all and now it's you time. You know? It's you time now. And it's you're starting to not see yourself as always as service for others. You are also a mother maybe. Yes, you are also a wife or also this or also a colleague or also a business com you know associate. Yes. But you're also just an own individual, an own you. You're also this, 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 this young soul, whether you're like, you know, 30, 50 or 18, still have this inner child inside of you that is also there and is allowed to pick uh, his or hers road, right? So, beautifully. Putting down the heavy weight because you finished the job. But you're st starting to realize that you just don't want to carry this anymore. Sometimes you feel so, like, I think that some of you, um, it's a little bit too much, I'm going to reshuffle gonna come out of it so come out never not came out again <laughs> um i trust my cards if you see lions this month so for example just you know um uh, you're scrolling through facebook or instagram and you know you keep seeing these lions you know just randomly um you know like a cute lion video or whatever i don't know I find lion's cute. <laughs> um, just randomly, like you walk, you, you sit, for example, at like the doctor's office or something, and there's this magazine laying on the on the table, and then there is a lion, you know, on the front page. Like you keep seeing these images of lions because I don't think we just randomly walk into lions in a daily, you know, just like we do with cats and dogs. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where you live, but that does not happen to me very often. <laughs> um, what I was trying to say is that that's a sign. Okay, it's sort of every time you see it, be very aware of your energy. And it's like the more you start to see like these lion images, don't look for it. They will, you will see it. Um, the more you know that what you're doing is the right thing, you know, and keep following that pathway and keep... Um, it's like sort of like an encouragement from the universe. It's like, you go, girl. <laughs> you go. You go. Like, you know, it's like the universe literally like patting you. It's like, you're doing so good. Keep going. You know, so every time you see that, may that strengthen you this month, okay? Because they show me, they they, sh they sh keep showing me lions, you know. And also on the chair, it's, it's just, it, I just needed to get that one out to you guys. Okay, there we go. We have, wow. Now look who's here. Look who's here. <laughs> it's you guys. Feeling a lot better. See the difference of these two. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? And who do you feel right now? So you know where you need to go then. Go within, because you still have that inner child within that will tell you exactly where you were supposed to go. A, le uh, a Virgo could be um, connected to you this month, when you feel connected to a Virgo that makes you, gives you, might, uh, might give you, sorry, some, some food for thought. Put it like that. Yeah. You're so much wiser though. You're so much wiser. Like I remember the first, one of the first readings I did for you guys and the readings I do for you now, you guys are growing so much wiser. And it has nothing to do with age. It has something to do with um, your soul's lessons and you know, stem, yeah. Look at that. 
So what do you get when you focus on possibilities? You get that opportunity. You see? It's the way you put your focus. It's the way you see yourself. The way you speak about yourself. The way you think about yourself. And not allowing people to treat you in a certain way. You know, because that's also to saying something to yourself. I'm allowing people to treat me this way. I'm allowing them to walk all over me. I'm allowing them to put all their stuff to carry on me. And again, I have the four of ones as the bottom of the deck. Um, sorry. Four is enough to keep things going. You don't need to carry everything. See? Four is enough. And... By allowing people to talk to you a certain way, it says something to yourself. Like I said, it's about, I, I guess I'm not good enough for that. Or I guess I am only good for this. Or I guess there's nothing more out of life for me than, than that. Um, I know they don't always treat me right, but um, I feel safe around them. And I, I don't think I can feel that amount of safety with myself. Like that, right? That's saying things to it yourself. But I don't want to talk about that even anymore. Because I see a, such a strong, powerful transformation happening. Because you're putting your focus maybe on your money. I know. And that's always a good, healthy thing to do during tourist season. Focus on, okay, what does that mean for me? It's creating something over here, Libra. Let me see. Some of you are redecorating your home, and there you go. The talk about pregnancy. <laughs> it's funny these cards come out because this is opening up, this is speaking the truth, you know, and this is a card that indicates pregnancy. So it's literally like, Mom, you're, you know, <laughs> we're pregnant, or you are pregnant. It doesn't necessarily have to happen, but um, for some of you, I feel so strongly. So if it resonates, it resonates um, ace you see once that thing happens once you allow the change to come in once you allow um, yourself to to lift yourself up instead of weighing yourself down with all this weight I feel this so much from the past you would just keep carrying because you're like oh, I have no time to just deal with all of that like how, how how long am I supposed to take a break then you know I've got all these things to deal with but I just don't think about it just keep going and going and going um, and then the universe sits you down right it just I don't know sometimes something happens and you just have to recover and then you just sit there with your thoughts you can't run away from it you know so Stuff like that can happen. Anyway, it's a whole new you. It's a whole new you, Libra. Beautiful. It's not making you bitter or, can I say that, like bitchy? You know, is that is that a swear word, actually? I don't, I don't know. Bitchy? <laughs> um, it's not. It's not making you arrogant. It's not making you distanced. It's empowering and inspiring okay is you sending out this new self profound energy and confidence and that is so attractive libra that's so attractive because you don't search for validation outside of them you speak your truth because you're cutting out you know you're really cutting cutting to chase you're cutting things out in such a beautiful way it's almost like you're taking these this sword and you just knock all these swords down and and, and free yourself from this you see um i do feel that there's this energy coming to you you're getting this energy push you're getting this energy push from um from the universe because you did the work, like I said, you did the work, you took the first step and you get this energy push to really feel empowered enough to make sure that people who need to get caught up are uh, getting caught off. And you're dealing with it and you're speaking up and that is making you so attractive, Libra. It really does. See, because you're empowering this, it makes you look 
so soft and so approachable, but yet so queen-like, so royal, you know. These women are, you, you know, you just look at them and think, wow, they're such great moms, such great people, but they're so strong, you know. I wish I had that sense of self-confidence. Like, you just see people like that sometimes. You just feel drawn towards them, right? Because you're like, oh, wow. You know, they just have such a glow about them, like an energy. Because look, you're pretty happy. Okay. You are, this is so powerful because what it's telling me with this, it's a yes card. So some of you, when you, if you were waiting on the pregnancy or something like that, I know I keep going back to that, I'm sorry, but this is like a yes card. So they're telling me, yes, it's coming in. If it's not coming in the month of May, it can come in the month of um, month of June, yes, but it could also happen in, in Virgo season, because it showed me that. So, anyway, don't question it. When it happens, it happens. Um, if you want it, if you put in the energy, if you're releasing some, some, some of that, you know, um, fear around it, and allowing it to come in when it comes in, it's going to happen this month. Uh, sorry, this year. Or this month. Also, what they show me with this is that you actually know that by yourself, you can have nine of those ten cups. We have five cups. And it's not like that. You have the ten of cups, right? So what you think is we both bring five cups to the table and together we have ten. No. You have your own nine cups and you hand one. You see the two of cups? Both bring one to the table, right? Which makes it ten. You share, you know, what you got. Equality. You got nine of your own. You're not empty. You're not thirsty when you leave that relationship. You're not left with five cups. No, you're nine. And you know you got these nine. You're really happy with it, very content. You know exactly what your word and all of that. You decide that you're going to let somebody in. It's one cup you're handing and one cup you're receiving, which makes the ten of cups, not five, five, or you nine and they're a one, you know? No, it's both your hand, one. It's an extra, and that makes your ten of cups, his cup or her cup, make your ten of cups, and your one cup makes them then ten of cups, okay? So... I know that you are, if you've been single for a very long time, you're coming into this energy, you're not going to be single for long. And that's not because you're, out, you're actively out there looking for it. You're sending out this new energy and you're going to have a lot of people approach you in the future. <laughs> a lot. Like I said, you're attractive. You know, this type of energy is very attractive and very. So, I love seeing you. Look who's here. <laughs> the two of cups, you see? You both exchange one cup, which equals ten, not five. Okay, let me see. You're not losing five. You're just handing one, and you already are already in the nine of cups by yourself. That's a healthy relationship. That's equal. See, two of pentacles. You may have more than one offer coming in for you, and you're kind of sort of trying to juggle all of that at the same time. Seven, yeah. I know you're waiting on something to get justified. I know. I know. Because once you decide, you figure out that this is what you've been treated like, you get pissed a little bit, okay? And that strengthens you. That's okay. You know, when you break up and you figure out somebody, you know, I don't know. Let's just talk real, Lyra. If you figure out somebody cheated on you, you know... You, you get pissed. You know, that's a natural response. I'm not going to say like, you can't. You, with the first two seconds, you have to realize that it's, a, you know, it's supposed to be like all of that. No. First couple seconds, you either get really sad, but you first get really mad. That's a natural response. Okay? That's like, hey, justice. I'm cutting this out. Bye. But... I'm just giving an example. I'm not saying that this is what you've been going through or what you will go through. I'm just giving it as an example so you can relate or understand on a deeper level what I'm trying to say. Um, 
So that's normal, you know, and you want to get it justified. But then there's a moment where you have to let it go and let the universe handle it. Let karma do her job. You can't carry this with you, how they treated you and all of that. No, it's a of course, the first maybe couple of days you get upset, then you get sad, yes. But then you also have to understand on a deeper level that it's not because you're not good enough of all of that, right? It's like it had to happen that way for you to learn what you are learning and for them to learn what they are learning. And karma will deal with it. It's not your karma, but it will become your karma cycle if you decide to hold on to the anger, because then nothing is changing it. They can go, uh, like, I have to make a different video about this because we're going to get deeply into that then. I cannot do that right now because we're already at 25 minutes. If you keep holding on to it, like, even if you hold on for like 5 or 10 years, okay, like this. Hold on to it. You just don't see them getting that karma. And you keep waiting on that. And you keep wishing them that type of life, you know. Nothing is happening. It stays the same. Nothing is ending because you hold on to the anger you feel towards the situation that has, has, that has that, that is gone. That's no longer here and present. But you keep holding on to it. Keep wishing certain things on that person. Keep being upset. I'm not saying it's easy and it's a magic spell and all of a sudden with it one day you don't feel mad anymore. No. But you have to become very aware of how you think towards it and speak about it, you know, and practice it to, to, to let it go and not just settle with the anger and be okay with that because that's going to be toxic for you in the longer term and it's not going to end the cycle. And you're going to still feel connected to that person even though you never would wanna, want to get back with them. They wanted me to talk about that because, yes, you're going to get your justice, okay? You are going to get your justice. But it's not necessarily because you are part in that. It's not, up, you know, it's none of your business. You know, you don't have to put in any work for that. You just have to let it go and focus on where you want to go. Move towards, release that energy. This is a message for some of you. I will make another video about that because I know some of you are a little bit triggered right now and want me to explain it what i exactly mean and i would love to do that but not right now okay <laughs> okay let's see let's see let's see because we're gonna get um the um a spirit message for you for the month of may it's an extra card this is not right. I'm going to fix this one sec. Yes, that's better. Libra, so the month of May. But for the rest, um, things are looking up so beautiful for you. And I'm really proud of you guys. Vulnerability. Beautiful. This is a confirmation that you're seeking to thread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on the intuition than the rationality. Wow, beautiful. You see your intuition is showing you that pathway? You know, beautiful. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. This is, this is the whole reading summed up in one card almost. It's so beautiful, Libra. I think the most beautiful uh, message in it is then uh, it's don't let fear hold you back. It can be here. And if you're dealing with anxiety, then it's here. And I'm going to make a, med um, a guided meditation for people who are dealing with anxiety. Um, because I have a lot of experience with that and I think that I can maybe help somebody with it um, anyway go sidetrack but don't let fear hold you back it's okay to be here yes it will come up and it will go but we're not gonna let it affect us in decisions we really want to make deep down inside 
and um, also what I love about scarves they say don't let that feeling tell you that being vulnerable or feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition because it's not it's it's makes you pure it makes you human and it makes you uh, it makes you 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 know the softness of your soul is is part of you even though your libra nature wants to tell you otherwise sometimes be very hard on you not allow you to show your weakness or your tears but they also are such a beautiful part of you and it makes you very feminine you know whether you're masculine or not it, it, the, the more you're in alignment with your feminine energy the better nurture you are for example also for yourself okay oh, i can't stop talking i'm so sorry Libra. i know if one sign it is that can keep up with that it's you and Aquarius <laughs> and maybe Cancers <laughs> but that's it okay only with the with the three of you guys let me see three cards okay they told me to stop one two and three follow your intuition this is an extra message from your higher self for the month of May. Um, take your time. You can pick one, two, or three cards. Depends on what your intuition is telling you to do. Um, you can pause the reading if you want to, but we're gonna get started with the first one. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Keep us off the earth. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna take one sip. You are not alone. Your ancestors stand beside you. You are not alone. That's why you're going to get sort of like that um, reinsurance about that this month, like I said. And it may not be a, a lion. Well, yeah, it's a feminine lion, you see. I thought it might be a puma, but it's a lion. I told you. That's the message, right? <laughs> I love the face of the wolf. It's so cute. Okay, let's see. Mm, card number two. Lemuria. Such a beautiful card. Creating heaven on earth, it is happening. Go with that. I'm not going to talk about it because I want you to go with your intuition what that meant to you. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Card number three. Starseed. Go within. And they ask you what lights you up. What is that inner child of you guiding you to do? Libra. What lights you up? And follow that this month. It's so beautiful how these cards flow together. Know that you're protected. You're always protected. Even though your fear might tell you something else. But you are always protected. Okay? Thank you Libra so much for uh, watching this reading. If you're still here with me. <laughs> um, I will do something else for the month of May on my channel soon. Because you guys have to wait so long. And I... I wanted to start doing that for a long time, but my health really has hold me back these last couple of months. And um, I just hope that it's going to be better from now on. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye, Libra. I love you guys. Bye.